In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2020, we'd like to show you how you can take text that you've customized and save it as a style preset that you can use in the same project or any other project in the future. So we're going to take this clip and add some text to it. I'm going to click on the text option at the very top and then choose new text and then default text. We'll click on the Style tab in the Adjustments panel on the right side, and we'll pick a style. Let's uh, take the second one down. And then we're going to click back on the Text tab to customize it somewhat. I'm going to change the size. I'll increase it to 300. And then let's change the font family. And in this case, I'm going to align it. The alignment won't, won't be saved, but the other features will. Let's go to the color palette and change some things about the color. Clicking on the fill, the left box, instead of solid, let's make a linear gradient. And we'll start with this kind of color. And instead of a black, we'll just go slightly darker. And then let's change the fill stroke on this one. And let's make that a four color gradient. I normally wouldn't use this here, but we'll just use it for illustration. And we'll use maybe a blue here. Okay, and we'll make it thicker. So we have a multicolored gradient by using that. We'll give you a link to the tutorial on how to use all these characters. I'll just click on OK. And here we have our very multicolored text with a gradient face. Let's assume for some odd reason we want to use this in another project. How do we do that? How do we save it as a preset? I need to go back to the Style tab. Then I'll click on any of the styles with the right mouse button and I'll click on Save Style. Now it wants to create a copy of that. We'll just call this one Test and click on OK. Now it created a new style with the current features. So let's verify that it works. We're going to take that title, right click on it and cut it. We'll go somewhere else in our project We'll add a text again, new text, default text. Now we'll click on our test, and now we see that we've added our style. I'm going to click on the mouse and drag on top of this so you can see very clearly that indeed it has accepted all the characteristics of our rather unusual text style as a preset. So we'll find the style available anytime we want to use Premier Elements in the future. Now, if you want to clear out all the styles that you make, what you can do is right click on any of them and click on Reset Style List. Then it will only give you the styles that were in the program to start with. It will remove all the ones that you've created yourself. But this gives you an option on creating your own preset style from a customized text in Adobe Premier Elements 2020.